All right, Doc. So this next one, uh, when one supplements with GH, is it prudent to include T4 uh, versus T3 in the supplementation regimen, and why would it be? That's as a girl, I think, actually. Yeah. That's what? This is a girl. It's a woman, oh. actually. Yeah. Well, this is interesting because, um, you know, GH wouldn't necessarily make it necessary to jigger your thyroid at all, uh, a lot of the releasing hormones though, for example, um, one that's unrelated, uh, so I don't mix things up with the question she's asking. Uh, if you use HCG, it is an analog of thyroid releasing hormone. So you could be taking HCG to, you know, obviously, you know, take the the effect of uh, luteinizing hormone, supplant the effect of luteinizing hormone to make the lytic cells make more testosterone, right? But you could also be raising your thyroid levels indirectly, oh. you know, meaning not intentionally yeah. by using HCG because it acts like thyroid releasing hormone. When you use GH, I can't think of how growth hormone releasing hormone or somastatin which if you overdid it, in other words, and again, if this is a, uh, and I don't mean this in a pejorative sense, but you know, if it's a bodybuilder using this not as a replacement, but you know, in super physiologic yeah. uh, proportions, uh, then yeah, you're gonna get some, some out of statin release. And that tends to slow things down a bit. It's putting the brakes on, it, obviously your own production, but it's a reaction to, hey, this is too much growth hormone. And what that can do is it can slow motility of the bowel, which is a big thing. And again, and a whole other issue about, uh, at least in my opinion, uh, as to why, you know, part of the reason why you get the GH belly. Yes. I think we might have talked about yep. this in an old video, but, yep. you know, a lot of that is just poop because of the, the motility slowing down. Um, prudent, not necessarily at all. I, again, I, and I apologize if I haven't done my homework well enough on this one, but, um, you know, there's a lot of legend... In, in the bodybuilding world about using uh, Cytomel, T3, yeah. prior to a show because it's going to help you dice up. We've done plenty of studies on, you know, non-bodybuilders, which, you know, you're going to see a lot more of those than, yeah. you know, when we're using, uh, you know, uh, guys that are doing exogenous T well beyond, you know, the, the norm in the gym. But adding 25 micrograms of, of T3, which is what we see a lot of, right, in the bodybuilding world, it's not going to do anything but tell your body to readjust <laughs> yeah your body's gonna say okay well then i only have to produce this much and i tell people and there's plenty of studies by the way to support using exogenous thyroid and the act the most active form is is, is t3 mm -hmm. t4 a lot of people say it doesn't it's a potential and it converts i i think uh, if i remember correctly about 20 percent of it is actually useful as an active form of thyroid if you will but most people look at it as a is a potential to convert to the active form t3 but no matter how you look at it, uh, it's not going to help you dice up. And how do we know that? We've done separate studies on non-bodybuilders to see that it doesn't help with weight loss. And even with the bodybuilders, we couldn't do a study because you're stacking 16 other things on top of the T3. If you used 200 micrograms <laughs> of uh, T3, you know, First of all, your eyes would be bugging out of your head. You wouldn't get any sleep. You'd probably have palpitations. But yeah, my, my point being that, you know, here's the level that is maxed out where you're trying to really uh, rev up the uh, the engine, if you will. And I and I look at it as really you're just you're just increasing the idle speed. Right. Okay. Increasing the idle speed on a car is not gonna burn that much fuel. Okay, compared to throwing a 454 in that puppy, even just starting the car and going, Brum, you know, which is the equivalent of having more muscle mass is gonna yeah. burn way more fuel, yeah. okay? So we're, we're, we're even going down the wrong path even thinking this way, but okay, if you think that the increasing your idle speed is gonna help you that much, you have to replace the difference between here and where you wanna go. Just like with testosterone replacement therapy, and it's not quite linear, but for our discussion purposes, you have to replace the whole deal because the body's just gonna go, fine, we won't produce anymore. And there'll be an initial reaction that you'll feel a little bit more revved up because the body doesn't shut down right away, but it does pretty quickly. Yeah. So what's the point of doing that? You know, 
based upon, again, the 454 analogy, don't waste time. Put on the muscle mass. That will get rid of the fat. And don't mess around with uh, T4 or, or T3. And again, I apologize. I don't know why it would be that you would want to throw that in there. It's a urban legend. People have been around gyms for years. Yeah, but, what, but why with GH? Again, other than what I'm saying about the somatostatin, if anything, to reverse the effects of somatostatin, you know, slowing the bowels or whatever, you might want to get uh, a 5-HTP4 enhancer, which I don't think we have in this country anymore. Uh, uh, Resilor is the brand name. You get it in other countries. And we used to use, uh, it was called, um, not Cisapride, but it starts with a C. It was a, it was a motility drug that we thought affected the heart. Another 5-HTP enhancer, but it had 5-HTP4 and another 5-HTP, which tended to affect the heart muscle. Uh -huh. So we pitched it, but it was great for motility. That would make sense to counter effect if, you know, again, I'm having to read into these questions yeah. because, you know, why, what is the rationale behind, oh, you got to throw that in because this is what's happening when you use GH. Yeah. Is it because you feel kind of sluggish and bloated because things aren't moving as well hmm. but so you know things to keep your bowel moving uh a choline cdp choline or uh any sort of choline that'll convert to acetylcholine will also help the bowels move a little bit faster that would be a better choice than increasing the thyroid gotcha